And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died. Genesis 5 5 And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years. Not lunar years, as Vero, but solar years, which consisted of 365 days and odd hours, and such were in use among the Egyptians in the times of Moses, and of these must be the age of Adam, and of his posterity in this chapter, and of other patriarchs in this book, or otherwise, some must be said to beget children at an age unfit for it, particularly Enoch, who must beget a son in the sixth year of his age, and the lives of some of them must be very short, even shorter than ours, as Abraham and others, and the time between the creation and the deluge could not be two hundred years but this long life of the antediluvians, according to the scripture account, is confirmed by the testimony of many heathen writers, who affirm that the ancients lived a thousand years, as many of them did, pretty near, though not quite, they using a round number to express their longevity by, for the proof of this Josephus appeals to the testimonies of Manetho the Egyptian, and Berisus the Chaldean, and Machus, and Hestius, besides Jerem the Egyptian, and the Phoenician writers, also Hesiod, Hecateus, Hellenicus, Acusilos, Ephorus, and Nicolaus. And though the length of time they lived may in some measure be accounted for by natural things as means, such as their healthful constitution, simple diet, the goodness of the fruits of the earth, the temperate air and climate they lived in, their sobriety, temperance, labor and exercise, yet no doubt it was so ordered in providence for the multiplication of mankind, for the cultivation of arts and sciences, and for the spread of true religion in the world, and the easier handing down to posterity such things as were useful, both for the good of the souls and bodies of men. Maimonides is of opinion, that only those individual persons mentioned in scripture lived so long, not men in common, and which was owing to their diet and temperance, and exact manner of living, or to a miracle, but there is no reason to believe that they were the only temperate persons, or that any miracle should be wrought particularly on their account for prolonging their lives, and not others. But though they lived so long, it is said of them all, as here of the first man. And he died. According to the sentence of the law in, Gen 2 17, and though he died not immediately upon his transgression of the law, yet he was from thenceforward under the sentence of death, and liable to it, yeah, death seized upon him, and was working in him, till it brought him to the dust of it, his life, though so long protracted, was a dying life, and at last he submitted to the stroke of death, as all his posterity ever since have, one or two accepted, and all must, for it is appointed unto men. Once to die. Hebrews 9.27 The Arabic writers relate, that Adam when he was near death called to him Seth, Enos, Canaan, and Mahalalil, and ordered them by his will, when he was dead, to embalm his body with myrrh, frankincense, and cassia, and lay it in the hidden cave, the cave of Machpelah, where the Jews say he was buried, and where Abraham, Sarah, etc. were buried, and that if they should remove from the neighborhood of paradise, and from the mountain where they dwelt, they should take his body with them, and bury it in the middle or the earth. They are very particular as to the time of his death. They say it was on a Friday, the 14th of Nisan, which answers to part of March and part of April, AM 930, in the ninth hour of that day. The Jews are divided about the funeral of him, some say Seth buried him, others, Enoch, and others, God himself the primitive Christian fathers will have it that he was buried at Golgotha, on Mount Calvary, where Christ suffered, 